Hello, welcome to Cataclysm Quick Tip number 38, where we will be discussing the Zone Manager function. So in Cataclysm, there are a lot of key presses, and any tools you can use to cut down on the number of key presses is a good thing. So in this course, we're going to talk about the Zone Manager tool, and it's a very important tool for pack rats and farmers in particular. Um, for pack rats, because it's going to allow you to automatically sort all of the juicy, juicy loot that you bring back from your adventures to your base. And for farmers, it will allow you to automate the tilling and planting of seeds. So let me show you how this works. So in this example, I've got our intrepid character right here in the middle of the screen. I've got a few items on the ground here, rollerblades, stethoscope, and so on. And it's basically one each of a few different classifications of loot. And what we're going to do is we're going to organize uh, the loot and tell it to automatically sort into various piles. So the reasoning behind this is you go out on your adventures, you bring back a massive pile of loot in your shopping cart or your vehicle or whatever, and you're back at your base and you've got it all nice and tightly organized into various spaces with particular items in each space. Now, if you don't use this method, that means you're going to have to manually sort all of that loot that you brought back into each individual pile. That can take quite a while, depending on just how much you brought back. But once you set this initial uh, setting up for the zone manager, you'll see just how quick and easy this process can be. So in this example, I've got a pile of items right here in the center, and I'm going to assume that for this example that I want the loot to sort out into the, all the piles around me so that every space directly adjacent to me has its own separate type of loot. So what I've done is I've gone to the Zone Manager and you do that with the capital Y key or Shift Y. That brings up this screen. You can see Zone Manager and I've already got this particular example set up. So I have a loot unsorted line and it's hard to see. Let me actually cancel out of this for a second and zoom in a bit right to there. Bring the loot manager back up, and you can kind of see the blinking right here when I'm not moving my mouse, right next to his head where that exclamation point is. And as I move my cursor down with the arrow keys to the other categories, I have a guns category, tools, clothing, food, drugs, books, bionics, and mutagens. Each time I move it, you'll see the exclamation point moves to a new location. That is where I have told it I want each type of loot to be stored or located. So I want drugs to my right, I want books to the bottom left, I want bionics directly below me, and I want mutagens to the bottom right. Now the positioning of the exclamation point is the same as what your character is. So you'll notice on the character portrait the exclamation is always in the top right hand corner. Same thing is true here. So with the exclamation point right here it's this space that's being indicated. If I move up to bionics, top right corner means this space is being indicated. It's a little confusing at first to remember just where the exclamation point is in relation to the zones you're creating. Um, but I've got each one of these set up in a different location. So I want mutagens there, I want bionics below me, and so on. So once you have this set up, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment, what you can do is this. You press Shift O, or the uh, capital O key, wham! All your items just got automatically sorted out into their appropriate piles with one key press. So if I go back up here and I tell it all to move back into the center, let's do that again, because it's cool. One key press. Everything you brought back from your looting adventures is automatically sorted out into their own piles magically. Now it's not instantaneous. It does actually take game time. So if you have a massive pile of items and you watch the clock when you hit that Shift O key, you'll notice time passing. So it's not free instantaneous teleporting. It's just automating the process, assuming that you were in that space dropping items in every location. So couple things to know about this. There is a distance limit. You don't have to be standing in the spaces in order for this to work. So if I put everything back again, it's about a 10 space limit. So if I move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, well, we'll go 13 away and I do shift O, I get a message. There's no compatible zone nearby. Compatible zones are loot, unsorted, and farm plot. If I move back over two spaces, I get the same message. Now I'm about 10 spaces out here and it works. Actually, it almost worked. There we go. So it's about a 10 space limit. As long as you're within about 10 spaces, you can tell it to sort your piles automatically and it will do so. Now, I've currently got this set up with the zone commands so that just this center location is the unsorted location. There's no reason you can't overlap your locations. So I could designate every space in my base as an unsorted space that way, no matter where I drop the loot, it would automatically sort to the correct piles as long as I was within, within the 10 space reasonable range. 
Um, so you can use this in various ways. You can overlap spaces. So if, for example, the guns space, I wanted to also have my ammo, my mods, and anything weapon related, you can just overlap multiple zones into that same space. So you could indicate guns to go there, ammo to go to that same location, and so on. So that way you can set up your base however you'd like, make the items go wherever you want very, very quickly and easily. So here's the mechanics of how this works. So all of these are just an individual item. You can see down here at the bottom the commands that you can use. You can add one of these lines. You can remove it. You can enable or disable if you just want to temporarily turn something off or on. You can move one up or down the list. I'm not sure exactly why that's useful, but you can do it. You can also enter an entry, or you can edit an entry, I mean. So if I wanted to change my tools location, for example, which is currently, as you can see from the cursor right there, I can press enter. I can change the name of that location to something different. I can change the type of items I want to go there. I can also change its position if I wanted to move it to a different location. So you can edit an existing one. You can show all or hide distant, and you can bring the map up. And if you bring the map up, it will show down here zones. I'm not sure why this is useful though. <laughs> I've got a lot of zones in that same location and I don't know if there's a way of scrolling this. Uh, apparently not. So I'm not sure how useful this function is. Um, but those are your options. So all I did in this particular circumstance, I'm going to go ahead and remove all these so you can see how I do it. So I've removed every single zone. You just hit escape and say yes to save the changes. I'm going to move back up here, put everything back in the center. So I just went to the zone manager, I said add, I selected unsorted, named it, and then it's asking to select the first point. So this is where you can use your keypad to designate a starting point and an ending point. So if I wanted a large rectangle area for my whole base, for example, I would just set the two outer edge points here and here, and there you go. I now have a loot unsorted option for this entire area. Then I'm going to add another one. I'm going to say I want, um, let's do gun. And I just want guns to go right here. Just a single point. So I'm going to set the start point and the end point in the same location. And now I have guns selected. And you can see that is blinking. If I move up, that area is blinking. So if I drop a gun in any location in this area, so let me pick up my M4. I'll drop it right over here in this corner. And if I hit the Shift O, bam, jumps it right back up there. So no matter where in that square grid I dropped an item, it would automatically sort it into its correct pile. So hopefully pack rats of all types can see just how valuable this particular tool is. It will take you a few minutes to get the different zones set up, but it's a very, very powerful tool. It's going to save you huge amounts of time and effort from auto-sorting all your loot uh, and or miss-sorting things. Uh, if you accidentally drop things into the wrong piles, uh, and things start getting messy in your base, you can just hit the Shift-O key and bam, everything gets moved back into their correct locations. Um, so I do recommend you use this. And there is one other important function. This is for farmers in particular. So let's move over a few spaces. Now, if you noticed when I brought up the zone commands, I'm going to tell it to remove those example zones over there. I'm going to hit Add again. And right here at the top, we have Farm Plot. So if we select Farm Plot, We've got some options. No seed, canola seeds, wheat seeds. I actually have these kinds of seeds in my inventory. And it is important that you make sure you have the seeds in your inventory first. I'm going to say wheat seeds. I'm going to pick the plot location. We're going to say from there to there. And you can see up here now we have wheat farm plot. I'm going to escape and save the changes. So those symbols were just to show what kind of farm plot we have designated. It hasn't actually done anything yet. So we're back out again. Now if I hit Shift O, I have two options. I can till the farm plot and I can plant the seeds. Till the farm plot just says tills nearby farm plot zones and plant seeds obviously plant seeds into nearby farm plot zones. Farm plot has to be set to specific plant seed and you must have seeds in your inventory. Pretty obvious. Now if you want to till the farm plot, very much recommended you have a hoe in your inventory. That's the best tool for tilling the uh, ground. You can get away with using shovels and digging sticks and so on, but it's much faster to use the hoe. Now again, all of these actions do take real time, but watch how this automates the whole process and will massively cut down on uh, the poor farmer's uh, repetitive stress injuries for the keyboard presses. So I'm going to tell it to till the farm plots. There you go. Farm has been tilled. Now I'm going to go back in here again, Shift-O, and I'm going to say plant the seeds.
And once again, the entire thing has been planted. Now, as far as I'm aware, there are not methods to automate fertilizing or harvesting. So this will only work for tilling and for planting the seeds. But hopefully, from how fast that went, you can see just how many key presses you just saved yourself and how quickly and easily you can set up large farming areas with multiple plants and so on. So I think this will be a huge benefit, especially with the recent changes to farming and that whole area has basically been broadened and deepened in the gameplay, as well as the change to the 91 day season length. Um, you're going to want to know how to farm going into the future and I will have separate videos coming up, hopefully here in the near term future, where I will go over the farming prospects and such. Now one other thing I want to mention, if you notice when I go back to the manager here, we're going to go ahead and remove that one. And we're going to go add again. We've got a couple of options down here at the bottom that look interesting. A no auto pickup. This is in a circumstance where you have set various auto pickup rules and you're wandering around your base and you don't want to accidentally pick up items from your stockpiles. So if you've got rocks set for auto pickup, you don't want to accidentally step on your raw material pile and have your game automatically try to pick up the 400 rocks you've got laying there. So you can set a no auto pickup zone over your stockpiles. That way it will automatically disable any auto pickup rules that you've established just within that zone. So you can feel free to leave your auto pickup rules in place, but while you're within zones with the no auto pickup rule or zone turned on, it will not auto pick up things. Same thing for no NPC pickup. Does exactly what you think. You can set your stockpile up and then you can set it as a no NPC pickup zone and NPCs will not be allowed to grab any items out of your stockpiles. So. Very, very powerful tool. It's going to save you a lot of time, effort, and hassle. I do recommend you take a look at it. It's very simple to use once you understand a few basics. Shift Y and Shift O are pretty much the key commands. Shift Y to open the manager, and then Shift O to interact or activate whatever function the zones are for a setup. Hopefully you found this information helpful. As always, I'd be happy to hear from you about your comments in regards to the Quick Tip series, this episode in particular, or any thoughts you have for future episodes. Stay safe out there, and have a great day. Bye-bye.